The General Services Administration or GSA normally recognizes a presidential candidate when it becomes clear who has won an election so that a transition of power can begin. That has not yet happened despite U.S. television and news networks declaring Joe Biden the winner on Saturday after he secured enough electoral votes to secure the presidency. The law does not clearly spell out when the GSA must act, but Biden transition officials say their victory is clear and a delay is not justified even as Trump refuses to concede defeat. GSA Administrator Emily Murphy, appointed by Trump in 2017, has not yet determined that a winner is clear, a spokesman said. A Biden-Harris transition official said that it was time for the GSA's administration to grant what is known as an ascertainment recognizing the president-elect and said the transition team would consider legal action if it was not granted. The delay is costing the Biden team access to millions of dollars in federal funding and the ability to meet with officials at intelligence agencies and other departments. The transition team needs to be recognized to access funds for salaries, consultants and travel, as well as access to classified information, the official said. In addition, the team has no access to the State Department, which usually facilitates calls between foreign leaders and the president-elect, the official said. A senior administration official said the agency did not approve the start of a formal transition process in 2000 for five weeks while Republican George W. Bush and Democrat Al Gore battled over an election that came down to just hundreds of votes in Florida. Kat Dumaraos, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.